lawmakers are back to work at the state house, and today they focused on allegations that changes to the Department of Child Services are hurting kids. The former DCS director, Mary Beth Bonaventura, claimed that children will die because of moves made by Governor Eric Holcomb. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, is here with a look at the fallout from the former director's claims. Kevin? Yeah, John, the Democrats went on the offensive today. They're calling for answers. Republicans say they do not want to hold public hearings on the issue, but the debate is not going to go away anytime soon. As I'm saying this, a little more than two weeks have passed since the person who has been in charge of our state system to protect at-risk children left office by warning that our state is pursuing policies that will all but ensure children will die. Think about that for a moment, folks. An agency that is supposed to protect the lives of at-risk children is doing a better job of putting those children's lives at risk. This cannot stand. It is time to take politics out of the system and let DCS workers start doing their jobs the way they were trained. There's more to this than just a number here or a number there or someone's idea of what might happen here or might happen there. This is an issue that we've got to rally around and say we've got a department that needs to be looked at top to bottom, policy, procedure, and, and dig down and deep into to, to those child's lives and to say why is this what it is? Because I agree with you, Representative Gooden, um, we have to do everything we can for the most uh, vulnerable among us, and, and that is our children. With over 29,000 children in the DCS system, Indiana has 13 children in DCS per 1,000. That is well above the national average of 5.5 .5 children per 1,000. Andrea?